Alright, welcome back to Shot of the Colossus. Um, Colin, go ahead and keep playing. I just want to let the, uh, our, our friends here know about a little Easter egg with this game. Uh, we've already set ourselves up um, to do this. Um, but you're going to need to, so what, it's going to take a little bit of extra setup for, for you with your laptop. Go ahead and take your laptop uh, with you. Um, just follow me here. Take it with you into the bathroom. Yeah, uh, it's on, oh, anywhere. That's always a good first step. No, it's, it's trust me, this is good. This is <laughs> this is really good. It has to do with the reflective surface um, of your bathroom mirror and also of the water here. So go ahead, go in there. You're gonna want to turn off the light uh, just because it's gonna be a little easier to see what I'm talking about. Uh, face your computer in the mirror and just kind of look in the mirror really quick. Okay, are you all there? You all good? Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Oh, I just killed our whole viewership. Yes, yes, <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Tommy. I really hope this episode goes up on Halloween. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Yeah, that's one of those things where like, I don't, I don't really believe in ghosts or any of that. But man, I sure wouldn't Spoopies. do that. I sure would not do that. <laughs> I would not. That's a god of you. Just got pranked. <laughs> Welcome to Cool Twenty Pranks. Oh, mad pranks! <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this without getting slaughtered. Is, is it coming down? No, I don't, think, not. I don't think you nailed it. I think you gotta keep doing that. I gotta actually hit it. Yeah, right. Have you ever done any of those like superstition stuff? Like, you know, I don't know. Say it, like go to an actual favorite, supposedly haunted house or Bloody Mary and anything like, like that. No, have you? No, God, fucking no. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, like I don't think Bloody Mary would show up if I did that. But oh, God, I would never. I would never do it. Yeah, you you've told me a couple like pretty pretty scary uh, ghost stories before that actually freaked you out. Yeah, well, now do you mean like like ghost stories? I mean or, like, like you know those traditional like that... Japanese. Uh... Oh okay. I or I was gonna say or are you talking about like the actual spooky things that happened to me in Japan that made the me actual spooky things? Yeah, did I tell you about this? Uh, probably. I, but... So okay, so I check it out. Recall. So just a little preface. I was in Japan a couple years ago, uh, living in a dorm. And I, uh, wow, maybe by the time I finish this story, you'll have, oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, I spoke too soon. Jump, 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 jump. Uh, um, <laughs> here we go again anyway. for another couple minutes. Go on. Uh, yeah, so I was living in this dorm, and I was taking a class, an, anthrop an anthropology class on, um, specifically Japanese legends and folktales. Um, we had a unit on, oh, perfect. Nice, nailed it. Um, we had a unit on, like, ghosts, because, you know, ghost stories are hugely mm -hmm. anthropologically important, because it reveals so much about a culture. Yeah, for um, sure. We can talk more on that later, but, um, basically, we'd learned sort of some of the typical Japanese beliefs about ghosts, uh, and one of the ones that blows my mind is that 80% of the Japanese population, when asked, when asked in, like, a national survey of whether they believed in ghosts, either said either didn't answer or said straight up yes. 80% really? of the population. 80%? Yes. Now, I don't have the details of that survey, so maybe someone can fact check me on that one. Leave a comment, I guess, if you, if you <laughs> do. But that's at least what we were told by our professor. Yeah, that's Which is mind-blowing. And I conducted a small survey of my own Japanese friends, all of whom either were like, well, I don't know, maybe, or just straight up like, yeah, yeah, I do. Wow. Which, that's that's mind-blowing. Yeah, like, because... as... as someone who grew up in the u.s like that's that's just not a thing like, no way absolutely it's something think, you kind of make fun of almost exactly i think if you or i asked most of our friend groups like you believe in ghosts they would say yeah no just straight up for no. sure so that was already kind of fucking with my steez because like you get a different when you're in a country where 80 percent of the population is like yeah bravos that kind of fucks with your steez a little bit um by the way it's a lot easier to dodge roll across those that little gap there don't like, worry i got it you didn't get it um um, oh, I forgot that this is not like. Oh wow! Fun. Wow. Okay. Sick Dude, the grip terrible. strength though. I know, this guy right? is crazy. Um. Anyway, so that was kind of fucking with my steez of like. Also, why do you keep saying steez? I don't know. It's a word <laughs> that I picked up from somewhere. I like it. Uh, it was fucking with grip me. Strength, oh, grip god, strength. oh god! Oh god! The real we're spooks. Good, good, the real spooks. Good. Just, just getting that grip just strength. Just getting that shuffle. <laughs> that bird time shuffle. So, and then plus we learned all this stuff about Japanese ghosts, and one of the big things about Japanese ghosts is that if you ever get sleep paralysis, oh god, or like just like a sense of dread late at night, that means there's a ghost around, uh, and that also fucked with me because I used to have sleep paralysis all the damn time as a kid. Uh, it's, this one's gone. Ah. Uh, yeah, sorry dude. Don't worry, I'll just, oh, god. I'll just, just run across the bird real quick. <laughs> so, 
I so that that was kind of on my mind. Um, mm -hmm. So I was chilling at my dorm, and I woke up at about two in the morning. Oh, I think I remember the story. Yeah, I woke up at about <laughs> two in the morning. Uh, Welcome to Cool Twenty Real Ghost Catchers. <laughs> Uh, woke up, yeah, two in the morning, for no reason, and filled with, like, a real sense of, like, unease, and I hesitate, oh my god, I hesitate to say dread, but, like, yeah, like, feeling really, like, spooked for some reason, uh, and I could not sleep, um, so I, I, like, and I know people afterwards, and people, someone's gonna say in the comments, like, you were probably just still sleeping, like, no, I was awake, I was awake for an hour, I looked at my clock and I hung out on Facebook for a while because my American friends were awake because it was <laughs> in the morning in Japan. So I chatted with people and and finally I was like kind of getting relaxed and I was like, okay, I'm good. And so I was like trying to go to sleep. And as I was kind of getting ready for bed, I heard someone down the hall um, kind of sound like they left their room and go into the kitchen. And it sounded like they were like not washing their dishes but fucking fucking with oh my god oh my god this is the real spooks uh, oh, uh, well, now so you're close my amazing story um yeah, someone left the room cool i know right <laughs> and then i was in my room and then i played some video okay i read a book now uh someone left the room and was like fucking around with dishes for a while like just kind of clanking them around like it sounded like they were like clanking around dishes like in the sink for like 15 or 20 minutes and it was pretty loud. Now, keep in mind, I have the room that is the farthest away from the kitchen. Or I had the room. Because um, I don't live in Japan anymore, sadly. Uh, I had that room farthest away from the kitchen. And I heard it. It was very clear. And I was awake. God damn it, I was awake. I know what I heard. Uh, and then I heard them, like, stomp, kind of walk back. Not stomp, walk back and, like, shut the door, right? And I was like, that was really kind of weird. But whatever. I went to sleep. Woke up the next morning. No one on the... First of all, no one on the fucking floor said that they were fucking around with their dishes at 2 in the morning. Second of all, no one else on the floor heard it! No one heard it! Which, <laughs> I know, it's... And I know, it's just probably one of those things where it's like, I just happen to be the only one that woke up to it. I asked the two people that live right next to the kitchen. Like, it was loud enough that I should have woken them up. They didn't hear anything. Anyway, that's my spooky story. I know it's not that spooky, but it was pretty spooky too in the morning in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So anyway, the whole point of that was just so. Uh, question for you though. Yeah. Did you did you experience this like right after you had been you know listening to spooky stories See, and stuff know. like that? I don't know. Maybe confirmation bias there. I'm well, not. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I know that for sure. Like whenever you watch horror movies and stuff, like oh, yeah. I always get a lot more freaked out. For sure. And like I have trouble sleeping and stuff. Yeah. No. I don't know. Oh, nice job, by the way. Thank you. Um, I just see. I don't actually remember. <laughs> I saw that. I, I saw that. You little dude. Oh, I stopped. Wee! I stopped holding the grip, and then my guy just fell off the bird in the, oh, the cutscene. That's crazy. That that's actually like in the cutscene. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. See, I don't remember. It's it's probably. I don't think I really believe in ghosts, but it's a lot easier to say that in America than when I'm in a country where yeah, the population for sure. Believes. I mean, there's just something about being in a culture that that's that is that old. I mean when you're in Japan like the buildings you look at like just like normal houses and you're like oh that ha house is older than my country <laughs> you know or I should say like the the US obviously yeah. there's people that come a lot longer yeah um but god wouldn't suck if you huh? let go of your sword in the water right yeah. there yeah <laughs> um so you know like grain of salt there yeah but true. still like oof yeah, dude, Spooky. I don't, I don't like the spooks. Speaking we, of spooks, God, yeah. welcome to our fucking Halloween special. Man. And I need to like commute home, and it's dark. You can stay here if you want. I might do that. <laughs> you, I would actually appreciate it because I don't like being in the apartment alone either. <laughs> and my girlfriend's out of town. Oh, but that means I have to leave my housemate by himself, and he's gonna get all sorts of freaked out. He gets angsty when I'm not around. <laughs> <laughs> See your housemate and your dog. <laughs> here, Tyson. Here, Tyson. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, no offense to Tyson, but Tyson's actually a pretty good dog, Nick. He would, yeah. Also, just Tyson seems like he would make a great dog, too. Yeah, He's actually. a little fluffy, he's loyal, like... <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode, Tyson. I guess we just got Thanks one... Thanks for watching our show. We love you. <laughs> yeah. One like equals one dog. One comment equals one Tyson. <laughs>
Unless you're Tyson, in which case you probably just unsubscribed <laughs> to Oral Steez. <laughs> oh, man. Well, cool. Yeah, I might sleep over because I don't want to have to go interact with ghosts outside right now. Yeah, I'm really. Because now I'm thinking about yeah, it and I really don't want to deal with I it. I actually I planned this so that I could coerce you into chilling in the comments <laughs> so I don't have to be all spooky by myself. <sighs> Thy next foe Thy is next foe spooky. Is your own imagination. <laughs> I know. Giant looks underneath the temple. Ooh, underneath the temple. That's pretty rad. Okay. Uh, which one has this? It's the one that lusts for destruction. It's. <clears throat> but a floor is not. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool Yoda impersonation, Tommy. <laughs> Fucking nail that one. Hello, Lucas Industries. Please don't sue me for my amazing Yoda impersonation. <laughs> Jesus. Why? We thought it was the voice actor. Oh. No. Who was the voice actor for Yoda, huh? Uh, Yoda. Oh. He, he plays himself. Oh, Yoda is himself, huh? <laughs> kind of an airbud situation. <laughs> cool. Speaking of dogs. Oh. Agro. Where is he? Puppy. There he is. That's a weird looking Good dog. Puppy. <laughs> You're a big pupper. Look at this weird dog. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, well, shit. Anyway, now we've got uh, quite a few colossi done. But we do. Where to go? We do. Oh, are we, are, we, are we calling it an episode? Yeah, I think so. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't have time to think of a clever pun. Well... Wait, no. This isn't the end of the episode yet, because uh, I need to go and see where I, we're going in our next I episode. I have it. You thought of a pun? I have it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we're going to call it We're gonna call it quits for now. We'll see you in the next one. And I know that we probably just killed 90% of our subscribers with Bloody Mary, but for the remaining 10% 10, 10 left... We're going to have to say bloody fairy well for now. Oh my god. I think I can use a bloody Mary after that. Yeah, dude. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, All right, bye-bye.